welcome to Moan Airport and welcome to the Robinson R44. Today we have two pilots, as you might know from a chopper, a pilot on the right is the pilot in charge, however this time he's from Canada, he's learning his trade and the pilot on the left is from SA and he's teaching uh, as we go, which is quite cool. So as we depart and get some transitional lift from our forward speed and gain some altitude, I can say this was an enormously amazing incredible experience and as we depart runway 26 mount airport and head into that covango you can look ahead of us and see what is awaiting us there's the other chopper with the four of us uh two in each chopper which is really cool door is off right in the open stick your hand out in the airstream no big deal amazing to see everything from above um we learned a lot during this flight uh, a lot about how the big the open area is, how big the national parks are in Botswana. Also a big thing we learned about the animal behavior was how important the hippos are to keep the channels open uh, for the whole area which is just fantastic and so much water here as we fly over a lone elephant standing in the water. What an epic shot, just amazing. That alone is worth the price of entry. Uh, you can see how big it is. It just stretches as far as the horizon and you, everything you look at is a national park. Here we come over a nice herd of elephants. Beautiful at the water's edge. A nice matriarchal herd. It looks like quite a few young ones as well. Palm trees, which I didn't expect in Botswana. Palm trees everywhere. Amazing amount of water. This is a huge contrast compared to our Kalahari passage, which was really hot, really dusty, and very, very, very dry. So nice to see a bit of green out here. We saw quite a few hippos in the water. We saw some, as you see, the paths also from the animals. We saw quite a few buffalo, um, wildebeest, all of those, some giraffe as well, and quite a few elephants as well, which is really encouraging. Yeah, you can see the crisscrosses as they make their passageways in the water. A huge amount of water here, which is pretty encouraging considering how dry this year has been. There's been quite a big drought, but just fantastic. Amazing just to be up here. Open in the slipstream, doors are off. You can hang outside and look down. This looks like a herd of wildebeest heading somewhere and down there you can see some Mokoros coming through this area which is very remote. Bordering the parks are a lot of settlements, a lot of farms obviously, they're doing cattle farming which is quite a big thing around this area and also um, some smaller allotments and here you can see some cattle paths as well which is quite cool and obviously the straight to the line the more it is uh, touched by humans but here, here we are going back towards Moan Airport and there's also another settlement here which is quite cool to see from above. Very neat all of these villages which is quite encouraging. Uh, down here we see a row of cattle which looks like self-herding cattle which is quite a big thing in Botswana which you might know if you've been in the area. So yeah we come back over Moan Airport, it's over far too quickly. I mean one hour and it's done. Uh, this is our destination. Uh, we're going to fly in and hope that our trainee pilot has the capacity to put us down nice and gently. Uh, here's another shot of the other helicopter. And here we come into our landing pad, which is the beauty of a helicopter. You can just put it down wherever you like. And let's see how smoothly this touchdown is. And, and we're down. I'm not going to say it's cheap. I think you pay less for a lawyer, but look at the reaction. Just fantastic. Unbelievable. If you can get here, if you have a little bit of budget left, but a bit of time, uh, come and do this. Just a brilliant way to see Akavanga from a new perspective. Fantastic, fantastic experience. 